What's up YouTube? This is Tim Howard. I'm coming at you with a quick video. Um, shot this video on Sunday, May 8th. Happy belated Mother's Day to anybody out there. Any moms out there that watch my videos. Um, happened to have the opportunity to spend the weekend down in San Jose, see some friends, and uh, go to the Pacific Coast Cichlid Association meeting, the PCCA. Um, it was really cool meeting because we had a guest speaker and uh, I'm blanking on his name right now um, But I'll cut it in and tell you what his name is, but he was from the GCCA Which is the Greater Chicago Cichlid Association and I'm totally stoked because um, I was able to pick up some really awesome fry and I figured I mean if I sent my fish across the country um, or donate them through my club. I'd like to see where they came from or what happened to them. So if you are the uh, GCCA member who donated some Otto Farnix Tetra Stigmas, here are your fry. Happy and doing well. Um, I am counting Seven, maybe eight made it. I think there were ten in the bag. I think I had two that didn't make it all the way through the night. Um, but hey, eight out of ten ain't bad. Maybe I'll be able to have a breeding colony out of them. Because over here, as I've showed in previous videos, my Othophonic Citrus Stigma is showing right up in the middle of the screen. Look at that green face. You know, maybe in a year or two, you might have a little colony to come home to. Um, and also, if you're the GCCA member that donated some Alanacara Megara flame tails, there's my breeder mail. <coughs> Not wanting to show up for you on the camera. There you go. Don't go crazy. It's okay. It's just a little light. Alright, we'll try not to freak him out too much. But in here. And under those rocks, you can barely see a little zebra body go by, are the Nagara Flamtail uh, fry that I bought. So, I'm also making this video because I remember um, a post from a friend here, uh, JM Chicago Land Cichlids, um, that I bought some super red empress that are actually the fish in the other tank over there I'll go over there and show them to you I don't know if any of these are your fry yet or not man or or what but uh, based on the other things I've gotten I gave it a try because the GCCA did a box swap with my club the PCCA I just think that's pretty cool i would never seen that before so I'm making a YouTube video out of it and last but not least so if we go over here, they're all, somebody donated some Niacochromus Bozulu, and this one was the most casualties out of all, um, counting six, and it looks like three or four dead. So I think another bag of ten fry, but six out of ten is not bad for more than 24 hours in, in the, uh, small tank. Here are some fry that I found in my tank. I have no idea what they are, but I've separated them out. We'll ID them when the time comes right. JM Chicago Land Cichlids. These are your red empress in here. Just totally taking over. Some dominant color. Look at this guy in the bottom corner. Um, he is maybe three inches. That guy was my breeder male, but he's being out trumped by yours. Uh, and that's another male from the fry. So what I was looking for females, I think I got four females in here. And there's another male down there by the intake. So I have three or four males. Uh, really doing awesome. It's a Malawi trout male. One female in here with him. Um, but, you know, shout out to the GCCA for coming up and uh, sending us a great speaker. Not only sending us a great speaker, but also sending us with some cool fish. Hopefully we traded those out and you guys will have something to vote on 
or I mean bid on your next fish auction. Uh, just got to show you these beauties. Killer. It's a red shoulder. So then Benji. That's my Ethelaney showing up. Show the little red shoulder. Both the Farnix, Tetrastigma. Blue Orchid in the back. Really gorgeous specimen. Uh, Tanzania Protomila Spilinatus, uh, Tanzania Collection Point. Yellow Belly, commonly known. Um, Dililia Reef and a bicolor Moana. And a uh, Seleucide right there. So just everybody's coming together doing really healthy and good. Uh, won't keep you any longer. Um, oh, one last thing. My own club member, got to give a shout out to Greg Garrett. He just happened to give me these fish. Eight unsexed Moanza Golf, which I had bought a Moanza Golf male right here from uh, California Cichlids. And he came with two females. There's one. You can see the smaller ones of the fry. Uh, and there's the other female right there. So, uh... I was like, man, I gotta get some more Mwanza. And my man Greg Garrett just hooked it up. He brought some. And uh, I'm counting one, two, three, four, five fry there. There's the sixth. Six fry, two females and a male. Um, just really cool. And uh, yeah, I may have to get these guys some more space, but. Um, Just rocking, having a couple of breeding colonies. It's gonna be fun in here. Stay tuned. I'm gonna have a great summer. Look at these little Orthofornix Tetrastigma babies. Awesome. I'll give you updates. You can see how they grow out. So thanks again, GCCA. It was great having your uh, having your fish come down and do that box trade. I picked up three batches. So. Uh, Take care, guys. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, I just felt so bad. So, GCCA speaker was Rick Borstein. I went back and got his name right. I didn't want to botch it up. So, shout out to him. I'm going to throw a couple of links in the description of this video. Check out the PCCA. Check out the GCCA. Um, great speaker, Rick Borstein. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Take care. Take good care of your fish. Bye.